Uh, basically, at 10 frames, he has all kind of choices. The basic 1-2 works. 1-2 jabs, and go from there. He also has 1-1, one, one, and if you hold forward, transitions him into Snake. So this is kind of a nice feature to have, to be able to get the damage and then go right back into the offense again. You know, pop, pop, and then hit him with a low. Whatever you want to do from there. He also has 2-1, uh, which if you hold forward, it goes into Drunken Master Walk. So right away, anytime you jab punish something, you can kind of think of it in terms of, you know, tricky follow-up moves into your stances. 1-1 one, one into Snake, Sidestep, etc., etc. Choices are there. Minimal damage, but you get tons of choices from the punish. Uh, as far as I know, he doesn't have anything 11 and 12. Not that I remember, or not that I've seen now. It goes up to 13, which is his down forward 1-1. One, one. Decent enough damage, I suppose. The third hit is not a natural combo. Uh, it's only going to be minus 10, I believe. So if you do want to throw that third hit out, it's not that big a deal. It's not safe, but it's, it's okay. If you want to keep people guessing by occasionally throwing out the third hit, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, 14 frame punishers. He can just do a standing three, which has surprisingly good range. That's a decent chunk of damage right in their teeth. And you can hold back to go into Phoenix Illusion and all the options from there. Uh, he also has 1 plus 2, 1. Not quite as much damage, but it should be a natural combo, and leaves you back turned, also giving you the same options from there. So you get damage, and you get stance transitions basically for free that let you keep the flow and keep mixing them up. So don't think about it in terms of getting max punishment damage, think about it as you getting the situation that you want. You know, being able to just stay wild and tricky and keep them on their toes. Uh, 15, however, basic. Down forward 2 launcher, and a basic up forward 4 hop kick. This down forward 2 is the variety that will not launch a crouching opponent, but is safe on block. So, I mean, other than that, at 15 frames, these are all you really need. Uh, at 16, if you need a little bit more distance, say, like, on, against a Death Fist or something like that, 4 forward 3, this launcher is actually 16 frames, which is pretty good considering the ground that it can cover. Uh, this is minus 14 by itself. If you just do it, you can get punished for it, but you can also go back turned and do that and avoid some of the things. And you can keep yourself guarded with that second hit, but there's a risk to every one of those things. The second hit is a high, you could get popped in the back if you try to cancel, etc. So if you're, if you're blocking a death fist, you know you got that 16, go for it. Otherwise, you could do something simple like just forward 3-1. That's a nice bit of damage. Keeps on their toes. 4 3 one, 2 is not natural, so just stick with this in terms of punishing. Or you could do forward 1 plus 2. Less damage, again, but this side it also transitions you. This game into Panther. In the last game, it used to go into Crane. If you just held forward, you would go right into the Crane stance. Now it's Panther. So you get a little damage and your transition, only if you needed the range. If you're at a far enough range, I'd rather try to go for this launcher or go for that to get the frame advantage. So that's pretty much it for basic punishment. Launchers at 15, and a couple of different ways to get a bit of damage and free stance transitions. Uh, while standing, this was always 10 frames. I haven't, I haven't measured it yet. While standing 3 used to be 10 frames for some reason, while while standing 4 was your basic 11. Go figure. Um, 13 is this while standing 1, which has some of the worst range. You're never going to get anything with it. While standing 2-1... I want to say that's in the area of 15 or 16, but it's not a launcher. Your only launcher is to hop kick, obviously, because it's not the forward input, or while standing 3 plus 4 does that. You can combo from there. So that's pretty much it. But again, you're not, your goal is to not be able to stand there blocking things. Your goal is, if you're ducking, to you know transition into wild stuff and get back on the ground, etc. 